if you're using just an ordinary wall chaser, the new generation of dust control wall chaser is here. If you're just doing general wall chasing, then this is the tool for you. The CG125's handle and switch allow many holding positions, and it's very, very light. Which is nice chasing walls, because it gets tiring sometimes. Whenever you're chasing a wall, you're always going to go in the forward direction of the tool. In a vertical chase, it's best to go from top to bottom. The brush assists in excellent dust control. The wheels are all in different positions, so if the wall is uneven, you still have at least three or more wheels in contact at all times. Press the release button to open the base. If the tool-free arbor screw is just free turning, just hold the rim while turning and it will come free. Always put the first blade directly on the arbor and check the direction arrow. Put as many spacers as needed for the channel width you want. Put any remaining spacers on top of the outer blade. Install the arbor screw and close the base. For depth of cut, there is a quick adjustment. This is 5 millimeters and this is 40 millimeters. Use this inner sighting notch as your guide. It matches the inner blade position. Mount your vacuum cleaner, and you're ready to go. Whenever you're doing a vertical chase, always go in the direction that's forward for the tool. Align, plunge, and chase. Chisel out the remainder, and it's prepared for installation. If you have heavier duty requirements, deeper cutting depth, harder materials, more features, then you need the more powerful big brother, the CG150. The base has a track, which is for use with the optional guide rail system for perfectly straight cuts. The laser allows consistent aiming of the tool. Aim the laser at a marked reference point to ensure a straight line. To fit five blades, use these black spacers, one between each blade. Mount the first blade directly on the arbor, then alternate spacer and blade. Take the thickest one and the thinnest one from the standard spacer set to fill the arbor. The spacers needed will depend on the thickness of the blades which you are using. Five blades hog out almost all of the material in one step. Chisel out any remainders, and you're done. 